It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Well, a few minutes before kickoff here, and as you can see behind me, the Cheeseheads are out in force. These teams played just six short days ago. A lot of money on the Vikings. Here it is. Turn around. Nothing, nothing but Green Bay Packer money. Parlays, teasers. It's cold out there, so go put your hood on and come and get a ticket. You got a chance. We're Saturday night at the South Point Sportsbook, NFC wildcard game. Bert, you've had a lot of movement earlier in the day here. Yes. Um, tell us a little about, about the sequence of what you opened the day with on the Packers and what's happened in the last couple hours. Well, what happened is the Packers opened seven and a half, eight, and it's jumped to 11 now because wow. they ponder became inactive and they were going to start web. So the number jumped up to 10 and a half and 11. I believe that Green Bay has had more um, playoff experience. Um, also, the Vikings, uh, the uh, main quarterback is down, and uh, I just like Green Bay today. I think we know who you like in the game, but why don't you tell us about some of your bets? Well, I got uh, had to take everything from seven and a half, the eight, the nine, the ten and a half, everything that's on there, even the eleven. What are some of the bets you got here? Uh, I took the uh, took the Vikings with the points. Uh, tomorrow, I got uh, Seattle given points. And I took Indianapolis with the points. <laughs> Who do you got tonight? Uh, tonight I'm liking the Minnesota Vikings uh, because uh, the Green Bay Packers are getting too close to our uh, Super Bowl uh, contention. <laughs> Vikings up 17 to 3. Bert Osborne at the South Point Sportsbook, posted the Vikings 7 and 20. And here at the Sportsbook, we run into Chris Andrews. We've already talked with Jimmy Vaccaro from Pittsburgh. We have talked with uh, who else from Pittsburgh? Bert Osborne from Pittsburgh. Bert Osborne for Pittsburgh. And you're from Pittsburgh. And I'm from Pittsburgh. 30 years of bookmaking experience at yeah. least. I may be yeah. cutting you short here. About 32. And now you're an analyst for pregame.com. Pre Chris, yes. thanks for joining us here. Hey, thanks for having me. Now, what is your impressions of what we just saw in the first half? Well, I really thought Joe Webb would play a lot better than me this. Uh, he showed his athleticism, of course, but his accuracy has been just awful. They're going to have to throw the ball a lot in the second half. I think that spells doom most likely for the Vikings. Now, we were talking about what the line would be. We were a little off and a little yeah. surprised by the seven here. But could you take plus seven with the Vikings and feel good about it in the second half here? You know, I... I think I could take it and, and feel okay about it. Listen, Peterson could still run. My worry is that they would just throw every down with Webb. They can't win that way. They're really only two touchdowns down. So if they stick to the game plan, try to run the ball a little bit, mix in some play action, they, they could cover this second half number. All right, we talked earlier about five out of the last seven Super Bowl winners have come from the wild card round. And Chris, we talked who do you like a little bit in this round that maybe has a possibility uh, to get some high odds? Well, I, I've gone on record saying I think Green Bay is going to win the Super Bowl. And I think if you look back, the reason a lot of these teams um, have come out of this round is they weren't healthy at certain times in the season and suffered uh, with a win-loss record that, was, yeah. that put them in this round. But they got healthy late in the season. I think it's exactly what you're seeing out of Green Bay right now. Card game, they advance to the divisional championship next week against the 49ers. Expect the Niners to be about a three, three and a half point favorite in their total around 45. We'll talk more about that later. But the, the betters actually do well with the favorites today. The books usually don't like the combo of favorite to favorite covering. That happened today, not good. Long term effects, we'll see how that works out tomorrow's games. But the, for, fortunately for the sports books, both games did not go over, especially the Packers game. Packers and under sportsbooks able to maintain a small win for the day, and it also helps that college basketball was a small win as well. So for all the guests we had on today, we had a good time at the South Point Sportsbook. Thank you for hanging out, Bert, Jimmy, and of course Chris Andrews from pregame.com. Thank you.